Hey guys, Zerodex here, and in this video, I'll be discussing about Millenniumon, one of the strongest, if not the strongest, Digimon to exist. Now, I decided to make this video because I think some folks just don't know anything about Zed Millenniumon. In fact, I did not know anything about Millenniumon as well. I only knew more about its existence after researching a lot about Digimon for this YouTube channel. One of the reasons many Digimon fans know nothing about Millenniumon is because he has only appeared in the Japanese games. These Japanese games were released for the Wonderswan game system. These games are Digimon Adventure and Old Tamer and Cathode Tamer, Digimon Adventure O2 Tag Tamers, Digimon Adventure O2 D1 Tamers, and Digimon Tamers Brave Tamer. The main villain for all of these four games is Millenniumon and its evolution lines, Moon Millenniumon and Zed Millenniumon. The story focuses on Ryo, the boy that appeared in Digimon Tamers and the one who made a cameo in Digimon 02. When I think of Millenniumon, the first word that comes to mind is overpowered. Millenniumon and its other forms, especially Zed Millenniumon, have so many hacks abilities, it's crazy. I don't think any other Digimon could be a match for this monster. The thing is just ridiculously OP. To give you guys an example, Zed Millenniumon, just by existing, can destroy a universe. Also, if you notice, he has some unique bands around him. Well, these bands actually restrain him from using his full power and abilities. It said that a powerful Digimon had placed these magical bands on Seed Millenniumon. Yet we don't know who this Digimon is. It said that if the bands are taken off, it can use its full power and it can destroy a universe simply with its presence alone. Also, while I have not read the Cross Wars manga, there was a Zed Millenniumon in that manga that had no bands around its body. Zed Millenniumon is the final evolution of the Millenniumon line. The first is Millenniumon, who is a Jogress or DNA digivolution of the Dark Masters Machindramon and Chimeramon. The second evolution is Moon Millenniumon. Millenniumon was the final boss in Digimon Adventures Anode Tamer and Cathode Tamer and Digimon Adventures O2 Tag Tamers, while Moon Millenniumon was the final boss in Digimon Adventure O2 D1 Tamers. And finally, Zed Millenniumon is the final boss of Digimon Tamers Brave Tamer. So there's a whole trilogy of games about Millenniumon. It could even be called the Millenniumon Saga. I just wish they actually made an anime about him and his three forms. They would probably make a lot of money from this project. Hopefully the next Digimon anime project has something to do with Millenniumon. Or maybe in the future they could remake these games for the PlayStation 4 and it could be a trilogy in the same style like the Digimon story games. In its profile it states that Zed Millenniumon flies freely between space and time and that it is the king of evil that is still trying to destroy all errors and worlds. I wonder what exactly can stop this beast. If its goal is to destroy all errors and worlds, well, they should be gone by now. Like I said before, Millenniumon is overpowered. Before I talk about Millenniumon's power and abilities, I have to talk about the Wonderswan games. You see, the games focused on Millenniumon and Ryo, so we learn a lot of information about them. That's why I think it would be better if I told you guys a short summary of the story for each of these games. I'll only add the important details. The first game is Digimon Adventure Anode Tamer and cathode tamer. He starts with Ryu while living with his parents getting a call from help from his computer. He then touches the computer and this actually sends him to the digital world. It's then revealed that the one that called for help was Tai's Agumon, the same Agumon from Digimon Adventure. Agumon explains that Ryo was summoned because a powerful evil Digimon called Millenniumon has captured the Adventure Digidestins, then warped the very essence of time and resurrected all the previous defeated evil Digimon in Digimon Adventure, such as Devimon, Myotismon, Etamon and the Dark Masters. Because Tai and the others have been captured, Agumon asks Ryo to help him with this problem and decides to join Ryo 
Ryo then begins his quest to rescue the Digidestins and to defeat Millenniumon. Along the way, he befriends a number of Digimon allied to the Adventure cast, and this includes Leomon, Andromon, Piximon, and even the Adventure Digidestin partner Digimon. He also encounters villains previously defeated by the Digidestins, beginning with Devimon, then Etamon, Myotismon, and finally the Dark Masters before finally confronting Millenniumon. After a fierce battle, Ryo and his Digimon comrades work together and somehow defeat Millenniumon. And after defeating Millenniumon, Tai and the others are back to normal and Ryo decides to return home. The next game is Digimon Adventure 02 Tag Tamers, which is the sequel to the previous Wonderswan Digimon game. The game started off with Ryo visiting Ken in his room. They witnessed Diaboromon's defeat by Omnimon on the internet. This is the same Diaboromon and Omnimon that fought in the Digimon movie. In that movie, we even get to see Ryo watching the fight and the other person next to him could be Ken. After that fight, a Vmon appeared from Ryo's computer with a 3D Digivice for Ryo. This Vmon is the same Vmon that's Davis's partner. However, it's not Davis's partner at that moment. It tells Ryo that another Diaboromon is on the loose and it's causing trouble in the digital world and that Ryo was called in to defeat it. Ken decides to follow Ryo and then they both enter the digital world to find the Diaboromon. The Diaboromon was hiding out in Devimon's lair. They battle and they easily defeat Diaboromon with Ryo and Vimon's strength. After defeating Diaboromon, Millenniumon showed up to reveal that he was waiting for Ryo and that the Diaboromon was simply bait that he had created to draw Ryo back into the digital world. He then ripped the digital world in two. Ryo is stuck in one part while Ken is stuck in another. After the digital world is split in half, Ken wakes up in a forest and he meets his Digimon partner, Wormon. After getting stronger on his journey, Ryo eventually arrived at Millenniumon's floating continent. When finding out that Ryo has appeared in his continent, Millenniumon surprisingly is quite polite to Ryo and tells Ryo that he cannot be defeated. Surprisingly, while Millenniumon is polite to Ryo, it is rude to Ken and even insults him. Ryo and Ken's goal is to unlock this door to a special room. However, the key to that locked door was the Digi-Egg of Desire. So Ryo and Ken had to search for the Digi-Egg. Once they found the Digi-Egg, it reacts to Ryo and this opens the door. Once opened, Ryo and Ken with their Digimon are absorbed in the darkness and are taken to Millenniumon's world, a barren wasteland with a gigantic metal sphere hovering over it. The sphere was Millenniumon's castle. Again, Millenniumon surprisingly welcomed Ryo warmly to the world created from its mind. However, to Gen, he acts coldly and insults him. Millenniumon is arrogant and actually invites Ken and Ryo to challenge him. I guess he believes that those two will not stand a chance against him. Millenniumon's castle will be the final boss level and Millenniumon is again the final boss of the game. And surprisingly, Ken and Ryo somehow defeat him yet again. Anyways, after they defeat Millenniumon, it shoots out a dark spore from its body and one of them hits Ken. After this, Ken becomes sick and his personality changes over time. After a year later, he even becomes the Digimon Emperor. We do see this in the O2 anime as well. The next sequel to the game is Digimon Adventure O2 D1 Tamers. A few days after the events, in Tag Tamers, Ken is sick and in bed. He is being nursed by Ryo. Then, on a computer, Ryo finds out that there is a quiz for a potential participant in something called the D1 tournament. Curious, Ryo begins answering the questions. With each question, it becomes increasingly clear that the quiz was rigged in such a way that he would be the only one to know all the answers. After filling in the quiz, Ryo was suddenly transported into the digital world. There he meets Piximon, who tells Ryo that they need his help and power again. The four Digimon sovereigns that ruled over the digital world have created a tournament and other children were called in to participate as well. The tournament was to find the greatest tamer. The holy beasts introduced themselves. There was one question that told Ryo to choose between one of the sovereign Digimon. Depending on who he chose, he would be part of that Digimon's group. Then that holy beast introduced itself and it explains that the other three sovereigns became evil and are preparing to defeat the good one. So this tournament was created by the only good sovereign left. The tournament has five stages and each stage has a powerful tamer Ryo had to defeat. He first battled and defeated Izzy, then the second is Willis, third is Mimi, 
fourth is Ma, and finally his last opponent is Tai. Tai Chi then reveals that the D1 tournament was actually a hoax and none of the four sovereigns actually turned evil. Ryo had already been selected to win the tournament anyways. It was all training so that Ryo would be strong enough to take on Millennium Mon, who has now returned and become Moon Millennium Mon. No one else could defeat the Crystal Moon Millennium Mon. So it's up to Ryo to stop him. Ryo then marches on through the final practice dungeon before being sent to Moon Millennium's floating island. And I actually like the idea of the four sovereigns creating a tournament to make a Digidestin strong enough to defeat Millennium. They could make an anime or game about that as well. I'd love to see that being an anime. This time, Millennium's lair is in a crystal tower on a floating island. Moon Millennium said that he had been waiting for Ryo. He had revived to challenge Ryo again, and no Digimon is a threat to him anymore. Not even the four sovereigns can defeat him. But it states that Ryo is different. That Ryo and Millennium are yin and yang, light and darkness. One cannot die without the other. If one is defeated, so will the other. After Ryo defeats Moon Millennium, it digivolves into Zed Millennium and takes Ryo with him through the worlds of time, while the island that they were on got destroyed. The final game is Digimon Brave Tamer. It follows the cliffhanger ending of D1 Tamers, where Ryo and Millennium take a trip through time, supposedly the future. However, something went wrong and Ryo was catapulted into the past, where he met Manodromon, who would become his partner. It is revealed that all digital worlds were created by the computer Atanasov, the world's first digital computer, and then the digital worlds diverged into alternate realities over time. Also, ENIAC is a digital computer like Yggdrasil, however it's less known. In this game, seeks the aid of other fellow tamers and digidestins to help defeat Zed Millennium. He does so with ENIAC's aid. They traverse through time and different realities, gathering the strongest tamers and digidestins. Ryo will save digidestins while fending off Digimon that Zed Millennium has sent to take over ENIAC's world. Zed Millennium even creates a clone of the Digimon Emperor, Tai, Davis and Takato. He gives them Digimon that he has created and makes them all attack Ryo. It is revealed that Zed Millennium's goal is to control all of reality and rid the future of the resistance he currently faces and then he will create his one true world. Ryo eventually confronts Millennium in the future as ENIAC's last ditch attempt to save the world before Millennium can control it. Ryo then learns that Millennium is in fact his true partner. Millennium then goes full Yandere over Ryo, stating how he will be his partner and will kill anyone that gets in their way. Guys, just imagine having the strongest Digimon in existence go Yandere over you. That's just crazy. Anyways, Monodromon and Millennium argue over who shall remain as Ryo's partner until Monodromon forces a weakened Z Millennium on to Jogress with itself. This forced DNA digivolution results in a new digi egg that will one day hatch and digivolve into Cyberdramon. The same Cyberdramon that appeared in Digimon Tamers. Now that Cyberdramon has the power of a Millennium on. So it should be the strongest Digimon in Tamers and even one of the strongest Digimon to exist simply because Z Millennium on is part of it. In the end, Ryo was given the option to either return to his world, the adventure world, or go to the other world world of tamers. He then chooses to go to the tamer world for reasons unknown. And that's the short summary of the four games. I do think that these games should be remastered for the PlayStation 4. If you guys think about it, Ryo is like the red for Digimon. Now then, I'll talk about how overpowered Millennium on and its other forms like Moon and Zed Millennium on truly are. I'll discuss all its abilities and feats. Remember guys, Millennium on is an OP meaning overpowered Digimon. So he will have many hacks abilities. Firstly, Millennium on can bend time and space. It was going to wrap every network, which is essentially its own world or universe, into one single world that exists solely for him. And in Digimon Heroes, it states that he can rule the entire Digiverse. This also includes all the higher dimensions. The Eaters live in one of these higher dimensions. 
In Digimon World Dusk and Dawn, it did not view Exo Grimmon and Chronoman Holy Mode as a threat, and those two were able to destroy the multiverse. It effortlessly defeated the Royal Knights, and we all know how overpowered the Royal Knights are, especially Omnimon and Alphamon. It also defeated the Digimon Sovereigns and the Three Grey Angels with the barest of efforts. It can create corrupted copies of protagonists from across the different Digimon series like Tai, Davis and Takato. He can create a pocket dimension which he can then use to trap his opponents in that dimension and then simply destroy that dimension at will, killing the opponent instantly. It can create artificial Digimon called VR Digimon which are more powerful than the original selves. He created some universal Digimon with his creation power. These Digimon were Omnimon, Apocalymon, War Greymon, Empire Ultimate Paladin Mode. And these are only just some Digimon he created. There are many more. Millenniumon is also able to regenerate infinitely. His regeneration is so potent that even if his body is completely destroyed, he's able to return to life, meaning he can revive himself with his space and time powers. He can make others turn into stone. He transformed the Digidestins from adventure into stone. He can destroy a Digimon or a person's soul with one of his abilities, Death Crystal, instantly killing that Digimon. The instant after he evolved into Zed Millenniumon, he conquered the future of the multiverse and covered it into darkness and chaos. He didn't conquer the past because Ryu was there, and Ryu is his weakness. He can create timelines, and in one of the timelines, he created a Ken that was an enemy. Let's see, what else has he done? Millenniumon has the power to see seal the universe and possibly other powerful Digimon. Zed Millenniumon is capable of destroying existence, non-existence and life and death itself. It can absorb any type of attack and turn it into energy. It can also absorb everything that lies ahead. Even entire universes are absorbed by it. In Cross Wars, in a very short time, after having been created, it had already absorbed numerous universes. Millenniumon can use time destroyer attack to restart the battle if things are not going his way. It can also use its space and time powers to send people through any part of time. And I doubt that's everything. I know that I miss some abilities. I'm sure he has even more abilities, but I simply could not find them. So what did we learn in this video? That's right, Millenniumon is OP. If you guys like this type of video, I could make more about other type of Digimon like Ophos Vidramon and maybe Digimon that are not discussed as much like Chronomon Holy Mode or Exo Grimmon. I'm sorry it took so long to make this video and it is my fault. There were a number of things. First, I got lazy. And another thing was I was working on my own story project, which takes a lot of time. And finally, I was actually thinking about the future of my channel. While I do love Digimon, there are so much other things I wish to make videos about, yet I do not get the chance to, as I always think I should just make one more Digimon video. Then after that, I think I should make another Digimon video. And I don't get the time to actually make the video that I wanted to make. Instead, I just keep making Digimon videos videos over and over. So in the next couple of months, I'll be uploading different types of videos and these videos will be completely different videos to what I normally make. However, I'll still plan on making Digimon videos. Don't you worry about that. Well, no matter what happens, I'll still be a Digimon YouTuber. So, what do you guys think about Ryo and Millenniumon? Would you guys like to see a trilogy of games or movies about Millenniumon? And maybe even Ryo? Post your thoughts in the comment section below. And thanks for watching. And if you guys have not, please subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.